Hi guys, welcome back to Dressing Tune. I freaked myself out, I'm sorry. I was saying something and it made me giggle. I'm my own best audience. Um, welcome back to Dressing Tammy, I am Tammy. It's Wednesday, I know. We're supposed to be uploading on Tuesday, but somebody um, took a nap yesterday and basically slept the whole afternoon away. But apparently I must have needed it or it wouldn't have happened. Usually, usually I fall out for like 30, 45 minutes tops on an afternoon nap. Yesterday, I, I ate my lunch and uh, laid down at like noon, noon 2.30, no, I was going to say noon 30, 2.30, and I slept until 5 o'clock, and I was so mad at myself yesterday, so no more of that, no naps, because we got, we got business to do, um, and that's what I'm going to share with you first before we get into the Dressing Tammy content. Um, when I got up from my nap... Um, I went and sewed up all of my babies. I have eight little babies here, and um, these are the last of my, I don't want to lose any, the last of my spoon flower um, printed fabric dolls that I have. I like the, <laughs> I like them, but they're very small. The arms are very small to sew. They're very fiddly to sew, and um, that's the last of that design that will ever be made. I'm just going to delete it off of, off of Spoonflower and I'll probably um, design another one and then uh, go forward from there. So yeah, I'm going to have eight babies ready for long and we'll have those uploaded on the Cotton Bellies Etsy page. Oh, let me cross my legs here. Um, yeah, so that is what took precedent yesterday after I woke up from my nap because like I said before, I have got to get a car. Um, my, I know, I don't, nobody wants to hear this, but I gotta tell it. My car is kind of, it's not getting hot. It smells hot. I mean, there's no smoke and I'm not on fire coming home. But um, when I stop, like if I stopped at the grocery store this afternoon, it just kind of smells hot. I mean, there's no, again, there's no smoke or fumes or anything like that coming out of the engine. It just smells hot. So, um, yeah, I think we're on borrowed time with that thing. So, I just want to reiterate that if I drop off, please just hang. I will have a video at least once a week. <laughs> but I, I really need to, and I know anybody who is has been in this situation um, understands, is that I just have to do everything I can. I am not getting a third job. I have to do everything I can with my own talents to make the money I need to get this car. It is my, I thought my cat was coming in, it is my absolute goal to pay for this car outright by the end of the year. That's my goal. And um, so I'm, I'm really trying to work hard to do that. So yeah. All right. So without further ado, let's get on to today's content brought to you by no one, <laughs> um, except for maybe the 80s. It's brought to you by my love of the 80s. Um, this is what we're working on tonight. I have cut out this version here. Again, this is McCall's 8903. I have to look at it because it's backwards in my viewfinder. Um, and it's got a little bit of a gathered shoulder. I gotta be honest, I'm not crazy about that, but I'm gonna try it. I am making this to make sure I can get the arm side and the shoulder width right. Um, I brought out my um, dirndl that I had made, my dirndl pattern here. Now it's gonna be, I think that, yeah, this is, oh, sorry. Um, here. So I already know that this is right. So I'm going to use this as a way to, when I gather this shoulder, then I can measure it against my dirndl with my seam allowances and make sure that I've got the proper width there so I'm not hanging off. And then also my arm side. I know that I, I felt really good wearing that little white top all night when I made my dirndl and wore it to work. So I know that that's comfortable for me. So that's the goal for tonight. I, I'm not sure if I want to make it up in muslin or not, or if I want to just use some random fashion fabric that I have laying around to maybe make it kind of more of a wearable muslin, because I think that's kind of a good idea anyway. But if it works, then we're going to 
maybe I know I have other shirts but I really like this purple version here and it reminds me I don't know if you can see it or not it's very um, to me it's very Dallas or Dynasty um, I like this one too that one really looks something more like what Blair would wear I like the sleeves um, she definitely wore ones like that so you know that I think I know everything, right? I hope you do by now. You know that I have a hard time following patterns and I rather just make them myself. So it is my goal to make this up tonight. We will follow through and I, at the end of this video, we will have some kind of a muslin so we can all laugh and share and say, just follow the dang pattern, Tammy. <laughs> but anyway, um, it is my goal that this burgundy dress that we're making for Blair Warner Wednesday there she is right there behind us will be part partly this shirt and then I have a lot of skirt patterns so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those and Frankenstein those together like I said we're not going to connect we're just going to make a skirt and a top and I think that might work so if I don't like it then we're going to try to find another shirt or maybe, and perhaps if I'm smart enough, go ahead and cut this one without the gathers. I think I can do it. Now, her shirt in the show, the one that we showed you, had like a mandarin collar. That's, that's something that I'm probably going to drape on little Doris and see if I can work. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go through all my patterns and see if I have... Um, a collar like that and um, we'll go from there I have not ordered fabric yet um, there is a dress at my store it's kind of a um, Hermes you know the Hermes scarves put a link I mean I'll put a picture so we all know um, there's a black dress that is so Hermes inspired <laughs> that I love it and I um, went down today to see what the fabric content of it was because I like the feel of it the touch I like the way it hangs um, when I tried it on in the dressing room it it was very um, I don't want to say st it's not stiff it's sturdy like it just flows over the body it doesn't you know oh here's a bump oh here's a bump oh here it didn't do that it just went boop like that so and so I went downstairs to see what the content of it was and it was 100% polyester but it had like a sheen to it like um, if you looked at it like flat it kind of had like a white kind of a, a topping and I don't a topping it wasn't a cupcake but you know what I mean kind of a kind of um, I don't want to say a fuzziness because that's not proper either um, but I want to say is there such a thing as brushed polyester I don't know but I mean it felt wonderful but that what that's what the content was was 100% polyester and it didn't feel like 70s polyester to me so yeah so let me get this going um, I took a few minutes the other night before bed and cut the whole pattern out so I'm ready to go so we're gonna stop it here Let's go ahead and we'll um, find some fabric and let's get this started. Be right back. Guys, look what I've done. Okay, I found the, the tiny uh, purple gingham or the purple check. I don't know if it's gingham. I don't know. This, I found this. I already had pre-washed it. I had just enough to make this shirt. And I just wanted to share with you my very first ever pocket putting on I think I did pretty darn good with it I even did the mitered corner oh, let's just blur out I even did the mitered corner I sewed it and then turn it oh, I'm so proud of myself guys I'm so proud of myself so <laughs> yes now I'm watching Whitney at Tomcat Stritchery and um, let's get going Alrighty, it's probably about six o'clock now. I've been hammering away at this for about three hours, maybe four hours now. Um, I like it. Again, do not let little Doris fool you because I am much smaller than, there we go, than this. Um, I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough fabric to put it on the fold. 
So I did make a little center seam here, and I'm not, um, I'm not unhappy with it actually, just that center seam. But I have tried it on myself. I do like it. Now, if this was going on her, I don't even think there's enough room to even get a buttonhole with her. But on me, I had plenty of room. So, even in my hips, you know, I have so much problem there. So, I had plenty of room here. It's really tight pulling around little Doris's butt. This is why I have to get my other bootstrap mannequin done. But, um, yeah, so now I am... Still watching Tomcat Stitchery, but I'm going to go grab myself a little snack, and then we will work on the rest of this. All right? Hopefully, we'll have the collar and the sleeve on. We will not have buttons on. Don't not even try to get me to do buttons. So, sleeves and collar, and um, then we'll close it down for the evening, okay? Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend that I don't love this, because <laughs> look at this collar, you guys. Look at it. Look at this collar that I did. My very first collar. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm so beyond ecstatic. So I've got my facing in right back here. I just have to put my sleeve in and then um, hem that. I'll probably do all my hemming tonight as I watch TV even though I have to stuff those dolls because that was part of my top three things to get done today. But I am so pleased with this. Oh, let me put the sleeves in. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Um, I ran into a little bit of a snaggeroony, which we thought we were, because I told you right from the get-go that I have very narrow shoulders. So I've got my pin, I don't know if you can see it, right here. I've got my pin right here. That's where my shoulder is. And here's where my sleeve is. So we've got, again, that right there is what we've got. I don't know if I can even show that, but that's what we got right there. So I've got the sleeve in and it fits really good. I really like it. So I'm gonna have to figure out somehow to get that up here without ruining it because I love it. I love this shirt. I love this shirt. I, I can't even tell you, don't look at my little rig here, um, let me just turn it around. Alrighty, here we go. So I've got my top stitching done here. Um, I have my back yoke on the inside. I've got it pinned right now, but I don't have it um, hemmed close, blind hem attached something whatever you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah so here is my pin right there this is what I'm dealing with right here so I've got to figure out some way to bring that up here without ruining the integrity of the whole sleeve so yeah so I've got it just pinned right now it's not sewn in or anything so but I like it it's got good movement um, I I am not a fan of this gatheredness here. I don't like it. I think the next time I make this, or I'll try to find something similar, um, is just to make it good. You know, <laughs> just make it nice and straight. Because I'm not a fan. Not a fan. So yeah. So for this evening, I am done because I don't want to mess this up because I really like it. I like it a lot. And if I can get it to work, gosh I'm gonna make so many long sleeve short sleeve whatever I almost don't even mind the sleeveless but um, yeah so that's it for tonight and um, I will definitely because I'm so excited about making this I'll probably finish it tomorrow so if I do new video um, so yeah and then on to buttonholes which I have never I don't remember ever doing it but I'm <laughs> I'm kind of scared to do that but um, yeah, so you can see, let me turn you back around. Okay, before we even go, you can see here how much room I have compared to when it was on little Doris. It wouldn't even close over her, and here I've got oodles of room. So, yeah, and that's why I have to get a new mannequin. <laughs> so, all right, you guys have a wonderful evening, um, a really good tomorrow morning, and hopefully I'll see you guys again, okay, uh, with the update on this shirt. All right, have a good night. Bye.